the rating agency SNP, which is Standards and Poor's, says that it has downgraded the U.S. credit rating to AA plus from AAA, making Duracell the most uh, the happiest company in the world because they will sell more batteries, AA batteries. Apart from this, the funny thing about all this is that uh, it seems that both SAMP and uh, the U.S. government and the U.S. Congress looks like a, 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 a kindergarten. That's really funny. Because, first of all, SAMP make a huge mistake in terms of trillions of dollars in their calculation. But, because they are driven by Wall Street, they were in the situation in which they were pissed with the Republicans for the debt ceiling because Wall Street, they don't want the debt ceiling. Nobody wants the debt ceiling. They are all Republicans, but they don't want the debt ceiling because otherwise, otherwise their investments go, goes down, as happens in any normal economy. But on the other side, they cannot allow that Obama wins on anything, so practically they found a way to f try to fuck the government in, the, in this situation. But apart from that, the interesting thing is that the Republican attacked Obama for this downgrade, which practically is probably not bringing anything special to the American economy, because there are four companies that uh, are <coughs> practically uh, that rate the, um, the uh, U.S. credit and debit, and this is just one of the th four that's downgraded to AA+. But in interesting news for the Tea Party is that if you look at the other nations that they have AAA and have not been downgraded, oh my god, none of them is a conservative freaking shit. Everyone is in a hybrid economy with social services, very efficient, and big capitalism in all the other sectors, which are these nations that have AAA. Let's have a look. Canada, France, Germany, UK, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Australia and New Zealand. They all have a very strong economy status. And when these tea baggers they talk about Greece as if Greece is Europe, they don't understand that actually France, Germany, Sweden, Norway and all these other countries they have a much stronger economy and situation right now for what they are in the United States. Their unemployment rate is much a lower situation. The problem is with the European Union that has to manage all the fucked up of other countries that are either like Tea Party like Italy, my country with Berlusconi is the exact example of what, what Tea Party can do and destroy an entire nation. It is the exact example total privatization, all the fucked ups, all cover ups, corporations, protection of everything, and at point on the economist, on the cover page of the economist, they said that Berlusconi is the man who destroyed an entire country. So the, we know this. On the other side we had Greece that have a hard time to move themselves from pure socialistic kind of attitude without big investment in the capitalist sectors and of course is down in that direction. But definitely it's not the corporatist America that uh, is moving towards total privatization that is fucked up. I mean it's 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 actually it's that America together with these other countries fucked up. It's not Germany with hybrid economy. It's not France it's not Sweden, it's not Australia, it's not New Zealand. Not to talk about all the new economies that are coming out like Brazil, India and even China. That's the point. The point is that AA+, Duracell-like, 
is no more and no less the symptom that America is a third world country. That America is the number one of the third world country. That we are in the post-American e era. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Does it mean America is going down? Not at all. America is a very strong economy. It just means that it's not the only one as it was 20 years ago. It means that they have to compete with other economies. And because these other economies are investing money, are spending money, they are not just cutting, like Brazil, like India, like France, like Germany, like China. They are investing tons of money in innovation. They are creating, strange enough, China, the communist China, is creating capitalists in China with a lot of innovation, allowing a lot of foreign companies to compete in their own country, to innovate, to push sectors in uh, food industry, in alternative energy, transportation, infrastructures, that are the one that people need to be in. Not in video games, not the other one. Of course, they build components of all the shits that they can sell in the Western country at low cost, fucking the other markets, because this Western country, they are still in the consuming attitude, consuming whatever is useless, rather than consuming something that is useful. That's what it is, no more and no less. And if you look at the numbers, it's very interesting to see that, for instance, in the, old, the fucked up Italy, and if America doesn't start learning, even from other situations, start looking around, when you go to a supermarket, you have to buy your plastic bags. And these plastic bags are not made in plastics, they are made in corn, they are biodegradable. Even in Italy, they understood they have to change so that the situation improves. Even in a fucked up country like my country, they understood that at certain level. But on the other hand, look at what's going on in this country. Since January, since this wonderful Tea Party and Republicans are in, we are losing in uh, um, everything practically. Our uh, GDP is going down. Why? If you look at the numbers, the last numbers, the last numbers that has been published about uh, job creation, clearly said that in the private sector with all this famous stimulus money that is much less than they should have done, because we need to spend money, invest money, okay, well the private sector is in, is hiring since almost 20 months. So what is producing this shit? The states. These states are blocking everything. These states are not using the money, the stimulus money at all. The tea bagger governor are refusing to use that money. That money is said to go in public transportation, public investment, infrastructure, creating job. They are going in something like um, blocking women and gays and elderly and everything and unions and bullshit like this and firing people so if you look at the number last month if we didn't have 140,000 ads in private jobs as we had because we lost practically 30,000 more jobs in the public sector Thanks to the states, thanks to the big, big government in the states of the Tea Party. So their economic level, their economic culture is below zero. And that's the point. That's what it is. So, Ron Paul, time to grow up. I agree with you about cutting spending in military, yeah, I agree with you, with marijuana, but these are just two little things respect to what you should do, and you don't want to do because you're another son of the corporations, as many Democrats and as all the Republicans. You are no more an arrest, you and your son, a fuck up, prostitutes, 
other corporations like practically the let's say three-fourth three of the Senate and the Congress you are not different from them all these fanatic people that think that you can create a new world this bullshit you what bullshit stop this fanatism about Ron Paul it will not solve your problems wake up people